Hello everyone, how you are doing? Uh, today I am going to show you okay, how to connect to uh, SQL Server 2019 Express Edition from SQL Developer, Oracle SQL Developer and then migrate um, SQL Database, SQL Server Database to Oracle Database. Okay, So, this will be a uh, two part video. In the first part, I will show you show you how to connect to SQL Server database through SQL Developer, and also I'll show you how to uh, if you connect from remote area, in remote remote PC, uh, how to manage the firewall and the port blockage. Okay, because the main issues in Windows 10 which is happen which happened is the firewall. Uh, you have to add rules on the firewall. Uh, Windows firewall to um, allow the port to access from remote. Uh, for SQL Server, the default port is 1433. Okay, so this is my SQL Server Management Studio 19.1. So I'll be connecting and showing you the database I have here. Another thing that is uh, which is uh, which we need here when we will connect to SQL developer is we have to know the uh, uh, IP address so let us first uh, see the database that we will be connecting so I have one database you can see here so I'll be connecting to this database uh, connecting to uh, uh, SQL, uh, SQL server from or Oracle SQL developer and connect to this database okay so first uh, let us see uh, what is the IP address because from SQL developer if you need to connect you need the IP address and also another thing you need that is you need an external third party jar file so IP address I can see 192.168.29.234 okay let's remember this and another thing that is extremely necessary that is go to the tools preference database and third party JDBC driver so you can see here I have in this path uh, JTDS hyphen 1.2 dot jar okay so suppose uh, suppose we remove this okay we don't have this so what happens if you want to connect click on plus sign you cannot see the SQL server in this database type these options will be there like MySQL is there because we have a third party driver that is called MySQL connector jar file okay so I what I'm going to do I'm going to do a add entry and I will go to my this space desired location and from there I will just see where is my JTDS okay so we have it here uh, within the this dev package SQL developer external so this is the JTDS driver so you can store it anywhere you have to browse it and select it okay so now click on ok now if I go to the connection in the database type I can see SQL server JTDS driver support both, both SQL server and Sybase now if you want to know about the compatibility you, you have to do your own research okay that uh, which SQL server version supports which, which JTDS driver so I will just select SQL server I'll give it a name suppose SQL server 2019 on Windows 10 okay username is SA I'm using SA username password you provide whatever password you have for SA okay I'll save the password and in this host name I will give 192 168 29 234 default port is 1433 I will retrieve the database 
if it is uh, connection test is successful then the database will be easily retrieved okay or uh, if it is not successful you will not you will get an error message because to connect to retrieve the database you need to connect to the database okay so you can see the database star retrieved so i will select master here okay so test connection success save this when you uh, when i click on save button you can see i have in this sql server connection i got sql server 2019 win 10 okay now you can cancel it and you can expand from here i can you can directly connect from here okay so here i am connected now open this suppose i open this database DBO tables you can see we have all these tables okay so uh, next video I'll show you how to migrate these tables to the Oracle database now let us check here also this is my SQL Server Management Studio on Windows 10 let's expand this and go to tables you can see the same set of tables here okay see we have all these tables here okay so this is connected now let us come let us see what we have to do in the firewall okay we have to do two things one in firewall we have to set add rules in the inbound rules in the firewall and another thing you have to do that is we have to go to SQL server configuration let us first open the SQL Server con configuration. So SQL Server con configuration is within the um, uh, Windows MMC Microsoft Management Console. Okay, so this is one one of the module, one of the part of it. So I open it. Now from here you have to go to. SQL Server Client 11.0 Configuration 32 bit. These are all are 32 bit, not an issue. Okay. Here you have to do default port 1433. You have to enable this. Okay. This is one thing. Another thing is SQL Server Network Configuration. This is Client Configuration. You understand? And now this is network configuration in network configuration you have to do the same thing enabled yes in the protocol listen all yes and keep alive this is our default 30,000 now on the IP address you have to go downward scroll downward and you can find the IP address within the scope okay so what you have to do you have to go to IP4 C we have already i have not added this it is all uh, automatically added 192 168 229 and 234 so you have to set the port here make this active the by default it is set to no and enable this uh, you have to set to yes by default it is set to no okay so you have to enable this so this part you have to do in the sql server network configuration okay in protocol you have to enable to yes and another is in the SQL server client configuration you have to do to go to TCP IP you have to make this enabled okay and if the default port is not set you have to put it put it to 1433 so this is done now let us go to firewall I have uh, already have this inbound rules now what we you have to do uh, what we will do i will go to the inbound rules let us create one okay let us create one because this is uh, you have to understand the wizard first is the program you have to add the program okay so uh, windows 10 firewall it actually set firewall firewall for both boot and the application so go to the program 
you have to set all program also but if you want to make it secured you have to um, specifically mention now i have to go to see if you have installed it in program files so whatever you install the main folder is sql microsoft sql server ms sql 15.5 dot sql express ms sql bean okay and on that bean you have okay let us just go up upward microsoft sql server ms sql 15.8 sql express ms sql bin here you will please kindly pause and note down here you have a program sql ser vr you have to select this open next allow the connection next next give it a name suppose prog1 and finish okay see i have it here now the next rule you see sql server tcp port okay so i'll again try to create one new rule port go to port now if you want to allow all port you can do that okay you spe i'll allow specific port i'm 1433 okay next allow the connection next keep it all checked next tcp port 1 and finish okay now <coughs> if it connect to the to the to this ip address from this port then you will know that it, it is connectable okay so so this is the first part so what we have learned we have learned to uh, add port and application on the windows firewall we learned uh, we just learned to access the mmc microsoft management console and open sql management studio 19.1 okay and you just go through the database and uh, another thing i need to mention as i if you want to save the password uh, like what happens uh, at first when you install a database you it asks for a password okay you have both windows authentication you can keep it windows authentication in windows authentication it uh, uses the windows credential windows username and password but you can create a mixed mode uh, local user so the default user is sa you see in login we have sa so when you install the database it will it will ask for a hard mm, very complicated password only with some rules okay eight eight character password with special characters blah 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 so you have to give it there but later on if you want to set your a uh, simple password you have to just go to sa properties and in these properties you have to just change the password here don't uh, go by this length okay I, I have only two two character password here so it is just a masking okay so this is how to connect from SQL developer okay let us also run a few command from schema name dot dvo dot suppose uh, what we have category master okay nothing is there uh, designation master okay so we have it here so now we can completely connect to sql server from sql developer oracle sql developer 
we can run query and in the next uh, video I'll show you how to migrate this to the Oracle database okay so uh, the, let us just uh, recollect what we have done in Oracle SQL developer uh, but you need to know that in tools preference you have to go to the third party dri JDBC driver and you have to add this JTDS um, hyphen version dot the jar I am using 1.2 I will provide you a link with this from where you can download this okay and also I will provide you with the link for the SQL management server management console and SQL server express edition 2021 okay so that's all for this lesson and hope you like it if you like please like and share this video and do subscribe to my channel I'll come up with the next video on, on migrating uh, SQL Server uh, database to Oracle thank you so much